So we're going to come towards the uh, closing sequence now, which is, uh, as the name suggests, it's, it's a great thing to do at the end of a session. Um, it's an inversion, essentially, so we're, we're taking the heart below the legs. And so we're going to move into uh, the plow, then into a headstand, and then into the fish, that's the asana. So let's just go for this right now. Let's just lower yourself to the ground and just placing the hands by the side of the hips and then just pressing into the ground and just bringing the legs over and so when the legs are over as far as they'll come then what we can do is just placing the hands on the lowest on, on, on the lower back bringing the elbows in to each other as close as they can and then raising the legs either into full shoulder stand or a half shoulder stand position however you're feeling and I should say really that if you've any shoulder or neck injuries then maybe it's not such a good idea to try this sequence or maybe you could place some padding under the shoulders the main thing is not to compress the chin into the chest and so we're going to hold it here for a, around eight breaths again nice and long and smooth and it's quite nice to circle the ankles lower the legs down so that the legs are behind the head and only if the legs if the feet are comfortably touching the ground then we can release the hands, interlock the fingers and just pressing the little fingers down into the ground. If the legs are floating up, there's no force of course, do any of these practices don't force anything, but if the feet are off the ground, keep that support there. So again, we're going to hold it in the plow, halasana, for about five to eight breaths. Breathing deeply and then just very gently arms into the ground using the arms and using the abdominal muscles just rolling down the spine keeping the head down and then once the legs are in a vertical position bend the knees and then straighten them out to the in front of you and then placing the arms underneath the body, palms facing down, elbows into the ground and then from there pressing the elbows and coming up onto the crown of the head. So really opening the chest and you can see the throat is opening, breathing deeply, Matsyasana here, five breaths, five long smooth breaths, really nice. And then just bringing the head down, releasing the arms, and then just as a little counter pose, just hands behind the back of the head, bringing the chin towards the chest, start stretching off the back of the neck, and then we just slowly come up. So that's a really nice closing sequence before we come into our final meditation. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there's lots of different alternatives to that closing sequence, but hopefully you've got the hang of that and um, you'll be able to practice that at home. Just get onto your mat and have a great time. Namaste.